Okay. Alexander, you're going to have four minutes, so I'll give you one minute. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, are we rolling, Brian? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Well, uh, the film it was really very, very funny, and I loved the core and the idea of the film that the couples they stuck in some kind of models and they can't get away from them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you think that um, after probably after the thirties, that some people they have to reorganize their life and also reorganize their sex life, uh, what they're going to do? Could you, you comment on that? Yeah, I think you know if you're married and you have kids and you have a job and you can your life can just be mm -hmm. like a, a treadmill of the same thing over mm -hmm. and over and over and it's it's hard to to break out of that and this couple really want to to break out of it because they see their friends around them their mm -hmm. marriage is starting to to fail because they've lost touch with why they even like each other to begin with. Right. Yeah. No, I think it's very I think it's very relevant and I I think um and that's something that attracted us to the movie in the first place, is that it, it seemed very real and relatable. Mm -hmm. I love so much the strat. I was actually very scared when I was very young with the strategy of one, two, three. Uh -huh. And without even knowing the reason, you were scared and you would do whatever your parents would yes. say. So if you could both use that technique to um, scare <laughs> the hell out of somebody in the world, who would that be and why? It could also be a dead guy, probably Hitler. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Hmm. Osama bin Laden. Give and a one, two, three. Come out there. of that cave in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'd go with that. <laughs> Osama and Osama, I'm yes. guessing. Good point. Very He's good. already dead. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I can't wait. You're both working <laughs> in... <laughs> You're both, you're both working in two very different sitcoms, which they have a totally different sense of humor. So yeah. how was combining uh, these two different sides of humor in a movie that uh, it's very complete in the way that they portray, you know, the lines? Well, we our shows. You're right. Our shows do have kind of a different uh, a tone, but we both we both have the same history. We both started at a theater exactly. in Chicago mm -hmm. and and uh, called the Second City, mm -hmm. and so we have sort of it's almost as if we went to the same comedy college. So we kind of knew how to work together. Yeah, and I think we find the same sorts of things mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, stylistically, like, I think 30 Rock is the funniest thing on TV. I'm and Tina the feels office. the same way about The I Office. Do. I, I do. Yeah, I do. What, uh, I really do. It's the same. Um, but, yeah, we, I, I think our sensibilities are very, very similar. And all, our, our kind of work ethic is the same. And, um, and how we approach uh, doing things is, is very similar as well. So... I, it felt like a good match. Mm -hmm. to me. There was a very subtle joke in the movie about the economical crisis when you're going to your customers yeah. and they say, okay, it will be some of these days cheaper. Yeah. Uh, and because we know that comedy and drama is almost the two sides of the same coin, mm -hmm. uh, could you comment in a very funny way about the economical situation in the world right now? Oh, could you comment in a very funny way about the economical situation in the world right now? Uh, no, it's not, it doesn't seem that funny it's... to me. It seems pretty horrific. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to uh, to be too glib about that. Um, yeah. But I think. I mean, I, I like the fact that it was incorporated into the movie mm -hmm. because it's you know it's something that everybody, uh, in one way or another, is having it's to deal with. with. Everybody, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the last time you both said it's all Greek to me? <laughs> <laughs> I was probably reading it off a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've ever actually used that expression. Mm -hmm. Can I say hi to my cousin? Of course, and you can say, and uh, you, I would also like some things about your Greek background. I grew up in a very Greek neighborhood mm -hmm. in, outside in Pennsylvania, near Philadelphia, and I, yeah, I went to Greek um, church, and all the kids in my neighborhood were Greek. I had, like, you know, more than one agapios in my class. Like, mm -hmm. my kindergarten picture is, like, agapios V, mm -hmm. agapios, uh, like, <laughs> Alex T, Alex O. Yodko. Um my cousin is my cousin's name is Vivi and Mirto Psihula and they're in they live in Anovula, so I say hi to them, right? Thank you so okay. much for your time. Would, uh, wouldn't it be offensive asking a picture of us together? Uh, sure. no, it's fine. Thank you.